Sometimes Android ROMs can be a real headache. So that's where this comes in. A few weeks ago, I got an email from a guy named Antoine. He's the co-founder of a startup company called Iode. Okay, I'm gonna stop myself right here because I know a lot of people are cringing by the way I just pronounced the name of the company. It's not Iode, it's Iota. Uh, and I, I, my American vocal cords just don't pronounce that correctly. <laughs> I, I, here's the deal. I went on their website when I first got approached. I watched the intro video uh, and then I forgot about it because it's taken a couple weeks for that phone to get here. Uh, and then <laughs> uh, when I went and started editing this video, I went back on their website, watched the intro video again, and I had already recorded and I was pronouncing it IOD in the video. My bad. My bad. Their French company focused on ecologically friendly and privacy focused Android smartphones. Honestly, I was a bit skeptical. I looked at their website and it was, you know, it was really talking about like privacy respecting phones and all this stuff. And I thought, these are some big claims. What's the catch here? But Antoine actually offered to send me a review unit and I ended up with this. Now this is a Samsung Galaxy S9. Uh, this is the European variant uh, and it's actually preloaded with IOD. So IOD OS is actually based on Lineage OS, which is an Android derivative. But as their website puts it, IOD OS is free of snitches, which I think is just adorable. <laughs> So I booted it up and right away I actually liked what I saw. Out of the box, the IOD uses MicroG, the open source and more privacy respecting alternative to the spyware library that is Google Play services. And that's cool. I mean, if you're the kind of person who needs to have like apps from the Google Play store installed on your phone and you don't want to have uh, Google Play services, which there's lots of reasons you wouldn't want that, uh, that's great. Right out of the box, comes with MicroG, it's pretty awesome. But the nice thing about this is that you don't actually need Google Play Store itself. For its app store, IOD includes F-Droid, which houses free and open source Android applications. And I'm pretty sure that most of us are familiar with F-Droid, but it also has Aurora Store. Aurora Store is an open source Google Play alternative, which I mean, it still impresses me that Google allows that to exist. The fact that Google would allow Aurora to pull all of its package data and all this information from the Play Store means that the Aurora store gets access to all of the great and not so great shovelware on the, <laughs> on the Google Play Store. It includes all the apps that you would see on Play, while also giving you insight into the privacy issues that any app might introduce. I'm also a sucker for the pretty great UI design of the Aurora store, but that's just because I'm a design nerd who does it for a living and just loses his mind over design. For its web browser, IOD uses a rebranded Firefox for Android that they called IOD Browser. Cool, I dig that. Rounding out the core applications are Carnet for note taking, QK SMS for messaging, and Magic Earth for navigation. There are several other open source apps that are pre-installed and flesh out the functionality of the device. Uh, and overall, I actually really like the selection of the default applications installed. But there's one application in particular that's built right into the OS that I think takes the cake and stands out and makes I, uh, IOD OS like its own thing the IOD app. It monitors all traffic to and from the applications on the device, and it's able to kill them if it doesn't trust the source. This effectively makes the IOD app operate like a pie hole, blocking trackers, ad networks, and other nefarious stuff at the device level. Uh, the most obvious implication of this is that ads in free-to-play games on the app store just won't show up anymore. And neither will ads in websites in your browser, even if you don't have like uBlock Origin or something installed. That's pretty sweet, right? But the real kicker is when you check the IOD app and it enumerates the number of ad networks and malicious networks and other trackers that it has blocked for you. And it really makes you stop and wonder, all of these trackers, all of these ad networks, all of this malicious network communication, Android just lets that happen right in your pocket. It really begs the question, what are we losing as human beings when these surveillance bricks are in our pocket at all times? And uh, to me, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to review this device in particular because it really is just a Samsung Galaxy S9. Um, it's a nice phone. I mean, it's in really great cosmetic shape. There's a couple fingerprint smudges on the screen, but that's to be expected. I mean, but this is in fantastic condition. I was not expecting it to be in such great condition. And it actually came with this uh, beautiful... Um, case that has its actual wood and I think that that's really pretty. 
But the premise here is that you're buying this device from IOD and it comes pre-installed with uh, IOD OS. And IOD OS really makes for a pleasant uh, Android experience if that's what you're looking for. Now, unfortunately, since I live in Maine and this is a European device, uh, this is looking for a GSM signal and there is virtually no GSM signal around here at all. Like if I go to, if I drive an hour north, I can get a GSM signal. If I drive 45 minutes west, I can get a GSM signal. And I have been in those areas and taken this with me and it does work. But yeah, this is a bit of a short review. IO did send me this device, but I'm not getting any kickbacks. If you decide you want to check them out and buy one, they didn't get any review of this script and they didn't get to see uh, the video before it goes live. They're seeing it alongside you for the first time but I thought this was a really cool uh, project it seems pretty legit to me and uh, I like what they're doing here with IOD OS so kudos to them if you want to check them out and buy one of their phones you can head down in the description uh, or head to iod.tech and again I'm not getting any like commission on this or anything like that so there you go Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, if you believe in the work that I do and you want to help support the show, you can head over to Patreon. I want to give a special shout out to my pal Nima Panahi, one of my top tier Singularity members on Patreon. If it wasn't for Nima, uh, my OG top tier patron, uh, I wouldn't be able to do this. So thank you guys. I really appreciate it. That's going to do it for this video, though. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, uh, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It all helps. Uh, but that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.